KNYT News. Today is Friday, February 10th. I'm Ryan Blasick. And I'm Morgan Walters. Now on to our Black History feature for today. Serena Jamaica Williams, tennis player who was born in 1981, Williams emerged straight out of the streets of Compton to become the world's number one player. She has won 23 major single titles, the most by any man or woman in the open era. The Women's Tennis Association ranked her number one in the world in singles on eight separate occasions between 2002 and 2017. She has competed at three Olympics and won four gold medals. One of our seniors is creating a new tradition for Black History Month. If you are a student needing volunteer hours or just love celebrating Black history and figures, please join us for this event. All you need to do is join our Remind and you will get more information. Text CULTURE with a K 23 to 81010. Any students who want to get involved with Black History Month cultural walkthrough, text CULTURE with a K 23 to 81010. You will find out meeting times and more through the Remind. Attention seniors, it's your chance to leave your mark on the castle. Student Council will be selling bricks for $10 this week during all lunches. The $10 covers all your painting supplies. You provide the creativity. Permission slips with brick sketches and all money are due by Friday the 10th. As soon as the wall is primed for us, we will schedule painting times through Sign Up Genius. Once again, the last day to purchase a brick is today, February 10th, so don't delay. Seniors, if you are interested in giving the graduation speech, please put together no more than a thousand words and submit it to Ms. Andrews before April 14th. The top three will be selected by a group of staff members, and then the winner will be selected by a group of students. 2022 to 2023 IHSA Girls Wrestling Sectional at Richwoods High School. To all nights, don't miss your Lady Knights Wrestling Team competition this weekend at the Castle. We'll be competing for a second sectional title in as many years. The sectional will start at 5.30 on Friday, February 10th. Saturday, February 11th will start at 9 a.m. and the final starting at 1 p.m. There will be 63 teams competing for individual and team titles, so do not miss this major girls IHSA wrestling event. Please wish the following Richwoods Lady Knights wrestlers good luck on their quest for a sectional and state title. 100 pounds, Heaven Swell, 18 to 11. 110 pounds, Kylie Bear, 27 to 5, ranked 5th in the state. 120 pounds, Isabella Mottler, 26 to 5, ranked 4th in the state. 125 pounds, Indira Moore, 11 to 4. 130 pounds, Aaliyah Cockfield, 12 to 9. 135 pounds, Kayla Williams, 26 to 5, honorable mention in the state. 140 pounds, Nikaiza Williams, 21 to 6. 145 pounds, Anisha Duffin, 9 to 3. 170 pounds, Jada Johnson, 23 to 1, ranked second in the state. Go Knights! Any girl and student playing soccer this spring, please plan to attend a meeting after school on Tuesday, February 21st. The meeting will be at room 262 and will last about 45 minutes. If you cannot attend, please sign up for soccer with either Coach Eisfelder in room 406 or Coach Croson in room 262. When to fest this week, we'll be having pep assemblies, talent shows, staffers and student volleyball, and a dance on the 11th. Winterfest Spirit Week. Taste the rainbow, class colors, freshman green, sophomores purple, juniors blue, and seniors red. Activities are in this week, Saturday, Winterfest, 7 to 10. These have been your daily announcements for Friday, February 10th. I'm Ryan Blasick. And I'm Morgan Walters. Have a fabulous Friday, Richwoods. Flynn and Cy, take it away. Can I need <laughs> Good morning, Richwoods. Welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Reports. I'm Cy Yourself. And I'm Flynn Robertson. Let's get straight into it. First up, we got the last day of our Winterfest Spirit Week, and it's Class Color Day. We got Valentine Teacher Day night from 5 to 9 p.m. We got co vs. Wrestling at home. Open individual sectional starting at 5.30 p.m. And boys sophomore basketball at Danville High School starting at 6 p.m. With boys varsity basketball at Danville High School following that game up at 7.30 p.m. On Saturday, February 11th, we have a big day at the castle. It is the Winterfest Dance, which takes place from 7 to 10 p.m. So show up and have some fun. 
It is in the back gym, just so you guys don't forget. Next up, we got Girls Central Wrestling at home, starting at 8 a.m. And Girls Varsity Basketball at the Open Regional. Time is to be announced. We got Boys Soccer Basketball at Unit 5 Sophomore Invites. Northwest North Gym, it's time to be announced. And Boys Freshman Basketball at Lincoln Freshman Tournament, starting at 10 a.m. Boys Varsity Basketball at Danville High School versus Mahog Seymour. Shootouts at 12.30 p.m. For our segment this week, we let our junior producers get footage of us in front of a green screen and then edit the background to either make us look really good or make us look really bad. Run it. This thing, this thing right here is my favorite thing in the entire world. What is this? What, what, what is this? This is terrible. It is this thing that is actually good. Oh, come on. You know I'm right. Oh, okay. Shut up. Hi, I'm presidential candidate Flynn Robertson here today. Behind me is my campaign promise and what I will bring to America. Ah, don't mind me, just clean up my mess. Hi, I'm Professor Robertson, and this is what we will be learning about today in class. This is one of my favorite topics, so listen up. Good morning, or I should say, good afternoon class. I am Cy, and this is my show and tell item. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, Sai, so, you have been chosen for the lead role in this movie. Are you excited here? Are you ready for your headshot? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Move it, move it, move it, hey, hey, move it, move it, move it. So, if you want to take that footage for yourself as part of our audience and make give us a funny background, just send it to us at KNYT underscore news on Instagram and you might end up in next week's episode. We're only going to take the best, or I should say the worst ones of us. So, make it funny, make it entertaining, but please just make it school appropriate. That's all we ask. On the spirit but, of it being Valentine's Day, for our poll question this week, Flynn I want to know what is the worst first date spot? Me personally, I think going, taking a girl or a guy to the movies as a first date, it's just, no. Yeah. The movies is like the infamous bad first date. I, I gotta agree with you here. There, there's no socialization. You're just, you're just awkwardly sitting next to them watching a movie like Avatar, a superhero movie, or a rom-com if the girl dragged into a rom-com. But we want to know what you guys think, of course. So we'll pull up on Instagram, KYT underscore news, go. Leave us a comment. Do you, do you agree with us? Do you think movies are the worst? Or you got something different? But that's all I have this week on Leak Reports. I'm Cypress Song. And I'm Flynn Robertson. We'll see you next week, Rich Woods. Have fun at Winterfest. Bye.